you know what? I think the new Titleist T-Series of irons is quite possibly the best range on the market right now. I also think the T200 is possibly the standout performer within that lineup. I also happen to think that the tailor-made P790 2023 version is very much going to be the best iron within tailor-made lineup moving forward. Now, before we go any further, I should maybe define what I consider best. And I think best in terms of the most playable irons in both of those ranges for the majority of golfers. And I think that appeal could be to the masses. So first of all, what is that major appeal and what we're going to find out in today's video? Well, first of all, in today's video, we're going to put them both very much in a head to head and Trackman will tell us what they do differently in terms of overall performance. And that for me will be really interesting. But why do I find these two so much in terms of a standout product in both tailor-made and tightless lineup? Well, first of all, visually, they are hugely appealing. I think if you walk into uh, any retailer, pro shop, these things have uh, gonna catch your eye, both sets of irons that is, and they're both very different. One has got very much a high shiny chrome magpie-like finish to it. The other has softened down a little bit and it's gone into that sort of satin look, brush satin, very different, but very, very nice. And I think could appeal to many, many golfers. Then you've got that profile element and profile, I mean size. They sit in a category where T200 could almost be shoved further towards the better players market in many ways, because I think it's a little bit more compact on the eye. The P790 has got a little bit more meat to it, but both of them at address seem to be the kind of at a level where they've pretty much confidence inspiring and suggest that many golfers can handle them. But then in terms of their individual reviews, well, I was pretty much blown away by what both sets of irons did in my initial review. I've also had both on course since then, and I've got a better sort of understanding of what each iron does. The question is, how do they differ? And how might one appeal to another terrible shot and appeal what a bit better than the other and and that's the that's the thing for me these are both almost in the same price category they they're just so so similar in many ways why would you buy one over the other that's better they're so crisp that's the t200 that i've been hitting looks good Nice width of sole, nice heel to toe length, just everything about it ticks a box for me. It's another hollow bodied iron again, very much in the where P790 kicked things off back in 2017. Everybody now has that type of iron within their range. And Titleist have packaged it up really well, like I said, from a visual perspective. I think one thing they've done really well is enhanced sound and feel, which has been a big issue with these kind of clubs over the years. And that's been an issue for me with P790s until the 2023 model that is where they made massive improvements in that category. Now, when I first looked down at this, like I said, to me, this has got a little bit more bulk on it. That, by the way, is a much better shot. Yeah, there's a little bit more bulk on the, um, on the P790s and that is gonna be something that'll sway you one way or the other. This head to head was an interesting one because when you look at the T200, I kind of look at, well, what is its sort of direct equivalent? And I'll be honest with you, initially I was going to put it up against the P770, which is the smaller, more compact version of this P790. But when I sat them both together, it really does sit in very much a niche market of its own, the T200, and it's quite, it's a little bit bigger than the P770, but a little bit smaller than the P790. And for me, that could be a real positive because, like I said, it's gonna to appeal to golfers that want a little bit more of a compact size, leaning towards the P770, but then want the forgiveness and help that they're gonna see out of this P790. And that's where I think, Potentially, Titleist have got a real winning formula. Well, I must admit, 
with a camera on, I've hit the P790s, absolutely superb. And I've got to admit, I'm super impressed with what they've done this year. And that big deal for me was one, enhancing the sound and feel massively. I love the look, it's only a subtle change, but I think I'd probably be, if I was walking in purely on shelf appeal, I'd be picking up the P790 from me, from a visual perspective. But then it was the way each club has been individually designed in terms of internally to make sure that you get maximum performance in terms of what you're looking for down the bottom end of the club in terms of the shorter clubs versus what you're looking for in the long end. And the difference in the weight positioning, a lot of different things internally made, meant each iron was individually built and designed to optimize that performance. Whether you like that or not, when we did the numbers, it certainly was very much proved in theory when we looked at the 2017 version, that was the initial P790 versus that of 2023. And I like the changes that they made. The question I've got for you is, looking at them both on screen now, forgetting anything else, maybe about brand loyalty and all them other things, where would you be drawn right now? Which irons are you looking to try and which are you considering putting in to the bag right now? Right, I think it's time. I looked at that dry ball data, which I collected earlier and uh, see how these two are split. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Right, okay, so if you are watching the channel of late, you'll notice a lot of head-to-head -head comparisons going on right now. And that's very much because I think everybody's released their clubs for this year. So we're trying to pitch up uh, as many similar products as we can and try and identify through data at least what the differences are. A lot of people requested T200 versus P790. Like I said, I wasn't sure it's quite a head-to-head uh, -head in terms of the same sort of product category. But T200, like I said, is quite unique in its profile I'm not too sure where it would have sat but anyway um, we're going to get into the data one thing I want to talk about just before we get into the data is I had different shafts in these simply because um, my Titleist came with a, an AMT shaft it's black uh, it's a stiff flex and we've got an NS Pro shaft um, stiff flex in the tailor-made both the same weight however they are different shafts uh, and it's really interesting because Let's get those numbers up on screen now. And we've got some, uh, the averages as ever. Let's go with the carry distance first of all, 148.3, 147.8, incredible. Um, let's then jump forward to ball speed, 107.8, 107.3, incredibly close. Uh, the spin rate, 5.3 versus 5.5. Five. Worth noting at this point, my spin is normally low. It's certainly low with this style of iron. I am making swing changes. It has made a, an impact in sort of raising my spin number a little bit, but I still can't argue with the fact that these are put, performing incredibly well in terms of generating that kind of spin with this type of iron in hand. Then we've got a launch angle of 20.5 versus 20.3 and a peak height of 88 versus 86. I mean, it's one of them that's just uh, ridiculously close. The one thing I just want to mention is that throws a real sort of strange one, but throw, for me, identifies the issues where people talk about shafts. Now, we generated a club head speed of four mile an hour almost faster with the T200 than we did with that of the P790. The weight of shaft was the same, the flex was the same, but it's really confusing as to why we would generate that much of a difference. Um, and interestingly enough, I hit in terms of data the P790 after the T200, so and if anything, more warmed up, should have been swinging a little bit faster. So that I think is very much an anomaly within that data. Um, however, what we should point it out, the bigger fact is this, these two irons um, perform incredibly well in terms of what dry ball data tells us because 
that kind of club head speed versus the ball speed versus carry distance, spin number, launch angle, land angle we never spoke about. Um, they're just, that's just everything you'd want from a seven iron. I cannot believe what they do. Now, I think these, like I said at the beginning of the video, two superb sets of irons that I just think appeal to a lot of golfers will do everything that you would ask for and we get to a point with the irons now where i think like their optimal numbers i don't really see what can happen the negative towards p790s and t200s in this case that type of iron was the likes of inconsistencies off the club face flyers things like that um, i'll put the data up at the very end in terms of the cross section of numbers and the consistency level is incredible in terms of carry distance in terms of how it maintained a very consistent number and the spin number all the parameters are very very consistent so even those things have been pushed to one side now look <clears throat> that's in my hands that's what they did um, I just think if you're looking for a set of irons right now and if you've got that kind of budget because there's no doubt these are top end in terms of the price category then these have got to be something you try and don't be put off by them by the category they've been put into I think players distance iron um, sort of like you know I, I, I don't know I think I think they're better than that category to be quite honest with you and uh, certainly worth giving a go right as ever I hope it was useful in some way and uh, we learned something from it and uh, pointed you or helped you in some way making your decision but reality is you go out there you try them yourself and uh, see what kind of numbers you get from each of these clubs right as ever thanks for watching I'll see you all soon